James Kennerly has what is undisputably one of the really cool jobs in Maine. He is the municipal organist for Portland and gets to play the magnificent Kachmar organ in Merrill Auditorium. He's got a show coming up this weekend and he's here with us to talk about it. James Kennerly, good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for so coming great in. to be here. Are you the only municipal organist in the entire state? Are you unique in that regard? I am unique, probably only in that regard. <laughs> um, there is one other municipal organ and organist in San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, and so between Portland and San Diego, we're the two cities in the US that have that combo, which is pretty awesome. How much time do you spend practicing? Um, sometimes I think too much, sometimes I think not enough. But you know, I try to do three, four, five, six, seven hours a day, depending on if I have a big show coming up or some you know, new music that I have to get into my fingers and my feet. So. Let's talk about the show that you have coming up Saturday. It's yep. called The Romantics. It is. What is this all about? So this is not about uh, you know bringing your, your girlfriend breakfast in bread or, <laughs> or 12 roses. Um, this is The Romantics. It means music from the 19th century, which is really when orchestral music and organ music began to flourish. Uh, and this is music that expresses the full range of human emotions, the sort of the sadness, the the, the joy, the ecstasy, the um, kind of searching, wandering. It is just the most exciting time, I think, for, for music and especially for, for organ music. So, so that's where the music comes from, the 19th century romantic period. Your enthusiasm is evident. Is this perhaps one of your absolute favorite periods of music? I would say so. And the mighty Kochmar organ was really designed to play this music. So it's that combo where everything just sits and it's just right. Um, very, very exciting. Yeah, really excited. When you are playing just to amuse yourself, what do you play? Probably the music of Johann Sebastian Bach, because that is just music for the soul. It just sort of feeds my soul and my fingers and my feet and my brain, and it you know calms everything. But sometimes I'll bring out something you know from the Romantic period that's a little bit more gnarly and dark and uh, moody, um, if that's how I'm feeling. You, yeah. uh, you, your enthusiasm is, is just, you know, infectious. <laughs> um, are, are there ever days where you kind of say, as most of us do from time to time, say, you know, I don't feel like going to work today. I don't feel like playing the organ today. Or does that simply <laughs> not occur with you? Not with this pipe organ. <laughs> the the Kochmar organ is like driving a Rolls Royce. I've never driven a Rolls Royce, but I imagine it is similar. It is smooth, it is beautiful, it's fast, it's furious, it's quiet and calm and gentle. It's sort of all of those things in one. So. I never tire of playing it. I could play it for hours and hours and hours and hours. I don't, I don't yeah. know anything about, about playing organs, and I don't know anything about flying planes, but when <laughs> I watch you at that organ with all of the different things that you have at your fingertips and at your toes, yeah. I'd always, I always think it must be like flying a 747. <laughs> it, it probably is, and actually there are a lot of organists who are also pilots. Um, I've never flown a plane, but, but it's one of my sort of, you know, when I have my midlife crisis, I'll probably take up flying. Um, to the bemoanest of my wife. <laughs> do you play other instruments? Um, well, I started learning the piano, as a lot of organists do, and I also played the viola, which is like a slightly bigger violin. Um, and I sing as well, and I conduct and compose, so I've always had a life in music of all kinds and all kinds of styles. Um, but really, the organ is my, that's my sole instrument, sort of thing. One of the nice things that is happening this summer is that we're getting people back into live music venues, yeah. and that makes all the difference in the world for someone like you, doesn't it? It does, it does. Because these were instruments and, and, and the pipe organ, the hall, it was designed for people to be there. Um, and so as a performer, you really, really have to have that energy um, that you kind of give to the audience and the audience gives back to the stage and it, it's that sort of to and fro symbiotic relationship that, that we really live for as performers and it's, it's just so exciting to have people in the hall. You're renowned for part of your wardrobe, your socks. So <laughs> let's activate the sock cam and uh, get a shot of what uh, socks you're wearing oh, today. Yeah. Tell me about them. Well, these are keyboard socks, and actually you can see there are kind of five keyboards, um, and the Kochmar organ has five keyboards. So, <laughs> you know, I think that was just the, the luck of the draw. But, but yeah, pretty cool, and I wear the socks, so when I play the organ with my feet, you can see them show up on the big camera, the big screen that we have. When you found a socks that had five keyboards, you must have been thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot of searching, a lot of searching. How many pairs of socks do you own? Uh, again, probably too many, <laughs> like my practice time. <laughs> oh, there's no such thing as too many socks for a guy like you. James Kennelly, thank you for coming in. We Thanks, appreciate Tom. it. Again, Great the program is The Romantics. It's happening on a Saturday at Merrill Auditorium in Portland. We've got more information on the show on our website and app in the 207 section. Stick around, we will return right after this.